Hi everyone! Are there any magical tricks to create a great track? Probably not. But here are my tips on transitional techniques in music production. My name is Matthias and let's go! Ok, the first technique out today is called vocal risers. And it's basically that you take a vocal sample, like this, where I have spoken the word day. And then I put it into a sampler. And we have the sampler set to the playback mode of repitch, which is the standard uh, forward playback mode of uh, the sampler. And then we adjust the uh, pitch transpose from minus 5 semitones up to 32 semitones. And what that means is uh, the higher we go in pitch, the faster it will play back the sample. And the sample is set into loop mode so that it will play back the sampler, uh, the sample faster and faster. And it sounds like this in uh, isolated mode. And then I do a modulation on the on the reverb decay to make the Valhalla room decay of the reverb increase gradually. And you can also see that I make a slope here to get rid of the wetness of the reverb for uh, just uh, before the drop. And if we listen to this uh, in a musical context, it sounds like this. And the different uh, devices or plugins that I have on this uh, track is only a blur filter to make the vocal a little bit more stereo. Uh, basically, it delays the left and right uh, signal of the of the voice. Then I have a, a tool device that uh, has a LFO attached to the width, so it spreads the spreads the sound gradually. And some EQ to get rid of the lows and a little dip here around 1.8 kilohertz to get rid of a little bit annoying frequencies. And then some OTT on the on the end of the chain to make uh, to compress the compress the sound a little bit. The second uh, transitional technique out today is the noise sweep transition, and it's heard all over the place in modern music. And it can sound like this. And uh, with all the music it sounds like this. And this sound is uh, created with uh, Zebra 2. Uh, you basically, you can use any kind of synthesizer that has a noise oscillator. And we have a noise oscillator set to white noise, stereo, and a little bit of high pass. Then it's going into a filter, uh, Equalizer 2, with uh, a few points that, I that are modulated with, with the LFOs. And uh, in this sound I'm gradually increasing the rate of this uh, second oscillator, as you can see during playback. It's quite low frequency, then it goes higher and higher. And then with the volume we are making the sound dead stop, exactly at the point where we have this uh, fall noise replacing the sound. And I have the Zebrify effect plugin of uh, Zebra doing some stereo effect by the SB1 and then we have the replica XT acting as uh, our delay and some Valhalla room where I also modulate the automate the decay of the sound to gradually increase the reverb and then dead stop it or uh, gradually decrease it at the end of the effect. <laughs> Bye. 
And then our third riser is uh, is more of a fouly riser sound, where we have this original uh, metal assemble fouly sound. It sounds like this. And then I add apply some reverb on that sound to get a long tail to work with. Then we bounce that audio down and we reverse it and uh, we make a gradual volume increase. You can do that by clicking on your clips in Bitwig and uh, adjusting this uh, fade in. You can also drag these handles and make into another kind of slope too. And it sounds like this. <laughs> And isolated the transition, the Fowler transition sounds like, like this. And you can also use the resonator back to get some cool, some cool bouncing resonating effects on that one, if you want. Okay, and the third transition effect out is the downer or a pitch down effect which is uh, usually it's a sine wave that goes down in pitch and you can have some overdrive on the sine wave to introduce more overtones or have other kinds of waveforms but uh, it's usually a very soft sound that goes down in pitch and in this track it sounds like this and with the music <laughs> And you usually add it to uh, your uh, breakdown sections where you want to take down the dynamics of the track and introduce more uh, mellow elements. It's a great way of taking down the dynamic of the track. A great technique is to leave out some of your samples. Maybe you can get rid of some kicks or some snares at the end of a section so that it, the listener feels that something is going to happen and we are going into a new section. And here we have a good sample of that in this section of the track. Let's listen to the final second part of the chorus before we go into the verse section and listen how I leave out uh, some of the percussion samples right before the verse. We could have left out uh, the snare at the end here too. So let's uh, remove them and hear how that sounds. Okay, now to a more common uh, transition technique, and that is uh, creating a snare roll or doing a fill. Let's listen to this uh, little clap roll that I have in this track. And what you usually do is that you add maybe 8 notes, and then you increase it into 16th notes, and then maybe triplets. You can do some uh, variations on this and try out what uh, fits your track. And I also make some uh, pitch shifting on this sound. If we double click the clip, we can see that I have a pitch automation from minus eight uh, semitones up to seven semitones during this uh, period. And in trap music and EDM, this is a very common transition technique. And here we have another transition technique that I call the accelerator. And it sounds like this. (laughs) 
And basically, if we look at uh, automation, we have the rate of the LFO. It's being increased and then it's uh, being decreased. And thus we have a kind of acceleration sound to it. And the sample itself sounds like this. It's just a long uh, vocal drone kind of. And the sampler is set to repeat mode and we have it in textures mode. And I'm gradually increasing the pitch of the sample. But if we remove the LFO tool, it sounds like this. It sounds almost like a police siren, but uh, when we have this LFO tool... Much more interesting. I wrote an article on transitional techniques, so if you want more in-depth info and uh, more tips on transition techniques, you can go to my website morningdewmedia.com and check the new article Transitional Techniques in Music Production. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you found this uh, little transition tutorial useful and let me know if you have any questions on this tutorial or if you have any of your own favorite transitional techniques. Please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the no notifications when I have new videos up. Thanks for today and see you soon. Bye bye.